Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about ADA test. Before beginning the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the useful and valuable information with you. So, what is ADA test? ADA stands for adenosine deaminase test. This is a protein that is found in various cells of your body. In simple words, if your body is infected or is attacked by myobacterium tuberculosis, the levels of ADA will increase, which can be found in body fluids. This can majorly be found in pleural fluid. This test is mainly performed to aid the diagnosis of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is endemic to India, along with pulmonary and extrapulmonary tuberculosis. ADA is a very important biomarker for the early diagnosis of tuberculosis. Now, why is ADA test performed? As I told you, ADA is a common biomarker for pulmonary and extrapulmonary tuberculosis. This test also plays a very important role in diagnosis of meningitis, psoriasis, and other autoimmune conditions. Before getting this ADA test, the doctor will ask you to get some other basic and screening tests. This test is also done when you show some signs and symptoms of continuous coughing, coughing with blood, high fever, chills, pneumonia, pleural effusion, and meningitis. Meningitis includes severe headache for many days. Now, how can you prepare yourself for the test? This test does not require fasting. In this test, the body fluid will be aspirated from the body. Most of the time, the fluid is aspirated means drawn out from the chest or the back. But don't worry, the doctor will let you know the complete procedure and will only go forward if you agree. Now, how is this test done? For pleural effusion, a tube will be placed in your chest. Most of the times, it is done under the action of anesthesia. It means you will have no to little pain. A tube is inserted with the help of the needle. It takes around 30 minutes to 40 minutes for this test to be done. Once the required amount of fluid is taken out, the tube is taken off and the site is cleaned. Everything is done under various sterile conditions, so there is almost no risk of infection. You might go back home after one hour. Sometimes CSF, which is cerebrospinal fluid, is also aspirated. But oral procedure is safe. Now, let's talk about ADA results and their range. The normal level suggests concentration of 40 units per liter. A value of more than 40 units per liter is considered abnormal. In case of CSF, the normal value marks 10 units per liter. In CSF, if the value is more than 10 units per liter, then there might be indication of infection of tuberculosis of the brain. Tuberculosis is one of the most common infection in India. It is very important to notice your symptoms. Also, it is highly advisable to get your screening test done on a regular basis. If it is diagnosed earlier, it can be treated in a better way. ADA test is very specific test for diagnosing tuberculosis. It is one of the most sensitive tests. A quick reminder, it is very important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. That's all for today's video. Stay safe and stay healthy.